Hi, my name is Jules Cesar, and today I will talk about the CubeSet project developed by students of the FETMG, the MGL4, Pico Ceruli, an educational CubeSet developed by students of the Brazil Institute CFETMG. The paper was made by me, Rafael Assis, and Geraldo Magello. The CFAS Aerospace Team is part of an educational proposal initiated by students and professors at the Brazil Institute CFETMG that aims to encourage and complement the training of engineering students and technical courses at the institution providing a practical way to test the knowledge. For the next year, we are developing our next low-cost satellite to the third edition of Cube Design, made by INP. The MGL4 CubeSat project Assistance for solar energy and attitude control take photographs of the earth, thermal and electrostatic shooting, and a communication system via radio frequency, Wi Fi, and Bluetooth. The development of the project was divided into five parts that are mechanical structure communication system, battery control and batteries, attitude control, and lastly, computer vision. In the mechanical structure, we wanted a simple structure that meet the weak state requirements of thermal protection, mechanical resistance, mass limit, and dimensions proposed by the cube design competition. Besides, allowing quick and practical assembly and disassembly. I study was carried out on the choice of material and possible organizations of internal modeling to optimize the available internal space. Unlike the previous model, the basic model designed for the MGL4 will be a true wool cube set made of metallic armor surrounded by ABS, which optimized the internal space for feeding the systems. The metallic structure is formed by an aluminum alloy 7075D651, also known as Zycro, Ergo, or Forto, commonly used in airplanes, for presenting an excellent resistance and low age. The telemetry system of the MGL4 was designed to carry out short and long distance communications. As it's a prototype, the system is sufficiently conditioned to meet the cube design competition requirements. With a hidden system that consists in three independent transmission systems, LoRa, Wi-Fi by SP8266 and GPRS. The main challenge found is to maintain a good connection with the satellite during the thermal cycling test. The problem is the signal attenuation caused by the test equipment's metal wall. The thermal test assesses the ability of the system to maintain the components required temperature in extreme environments. This consists of varying the temperature of the satellite between minus 10 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius with a half of 2 degrees Celsius per minute for 5 hours. Also, the system must be able to maintain a positive battery temperature at all times. In order to avoid a large temperature drop in the components, we will wrap them with layers of capital and MLI. So in the end, the cube set will have four layers that are 
the solar panels, a capital area, the metallic structure, and finally the MLI. In addition, we have to be extra careful with the battery. For that, it will be wrapped with captain tape as well. For active temperature control, we will use power resistors and a cooler on the cab. The temperature monitoring will be carried out by a BNP280 temperature sensor and the batteries can be recharged by the solar panels. The attitude control of the satellite is performed by a reaction wheels, also known as moment wheels. In this system, we use the gyroscope sensor and a brushless motor. Its operation is based on the exchange of angular momentum between the disk and the satellite due to the conservation of the angular momentum. As a control strategy, the PID method was chosen. Proportional, integrative, and derivative, a high precision control method that to establish various control systems. For the computer vision missions, it's necessary for a CubeSat to pass over an assembled structure that simulates the Earth's surface and recognize points of natural disasters. The test is divided into two sessions, with the first session being done with the natural landscape and the second session with the landscape affected by a natural disasters. For this, we use the Raspberry Pi 3 together with your Pi camera and for programming, we will be using the Python OpenCV library in which several Images of the landscape will be combined, forming a panoramic view of the region. This panoramic image will be fragmented into a color diagram and analyzed by an image analysis algorithm. In each analysis, the images will be compared with previous images from the same location, and the algorithm will look for change in vegetation and soil in search of signs of earthquakes, floods, avalanches, and deforestations. This project is in the design phase yet, but we believe that the MGL4 will fulfill the requirements and inspections. To achieve this feat, the team is dividing the project into more straightforward step, testing parts of each mission's cube separately. The MGL4 is a very low cost cube set, but with each component carefully chosen for quick and easy implementation. In addition to having a rich mission edge, all the planning for the construction of each structure. So thanks for watching, I hope you all enjoyed the presentation and if you want to know more about the team and the develop of the MGL4 and all the projects of the Fast Shadow Space team, you can access the website and follow us on Instagram. Thanks.